What's up guys, welcome back to Latin Chopsticks. Thank you so much for tuning in. Guys, today we're gonna be going to another Korean barbecue place that I saw online. A uh, buddy of mine looked it up, I looked it up, and it's semi-new compared to all the other ones we've been to. The great thing about this place, and the reason that I wanna go, besides the fact of just having an excuse to go have some delicious all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue, is the fact that they offer hot pot, Korean barbecue, and sushi, so it's all three in one place. So it kind of adds a little bit more variety to all the other Korean places that we visited. Mostly though, if we're being transparent, it's just another excuse to have some delicious Korean barbecue. Anyway, enough talking, let's head out. Let's see how this new place is. All right guys, awesome, we're here, we made it. I am really like, and this place is really impressive. It honestly really reminds me of K-Pot. And the funny thing is, and I gotta show you guys this, when you look around the grill itself, there is a part on the grill that says K-Pot, so I'm not sure if it's the same owners. I will say that this location used to be a Golden Corral, so it's kinda nice that another all-you-can-eat place took over. Okay, so this right here, they put, they grabbed a bottle and they put butter all over the underside and then they put butter on the top side as well. And they're gonna heat it up. And then like I was mentioning, see that right there? It says K-Pot. You get your typical tongs. You do have the option of hot pot and I know I'm gonna put that on the title, but we're not gonna get the hot pot today since we've done quite a few of them these past few months. It's only a $5 difference to add it, but I really wanted to focus on this and the sushi. The way that this place is designed, in my personal opinion, is my favorite way to have Korean barbecue, which is you literally have all the buffet options and I'll show you guys in a couple of seconds. Up there to you for you to grab as much as you want. You can bring it and just cook it in your own way and all that stuff. You don't have to be ordering orders from the actual waiters. Everything's just set up for you buffet style. Enough said, let's go ahead and check out the options. I'll guys gonna take you guys and do a B-roll of all the different options that they have. And then we're gonna start cooking the meats and seeing how this place is. So I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes. guys did you see that that is insane there's so many different options for meats there's a bunch of different options for vegetables all bunch of different options for seafood there's a ton of different sushi now one thing i will say the difference between here and for example izibon who also offers sushi is the fact that in izibon it's made to order versus here they have it out buffet style so i'm not expecting the quality to be that amazing but we'll go ahead and try it it's another option for us to try with that said let's check out this grill right now all right guys this is the grill right now we have all types of meat we have ribeye we have pork belly we have uh, your typical well they call it marble beef but it's you know basically brisket you have uh, skirt steak over there. I mean, there's a ton of different cuts of meat. And one thing I really will say, this is the, my favorite place so far, is look at how thin that pork belly slice. It's almost like bacon. So I'm sure this is gonna be super easy to crisp up and it's gonna be delicious. With that said, this is the sushi that we ended up getting. I'm not gonna try to label each one, but we're gonna go ahead and try a few and see how they are. All right, guys, awesome. So here's some of the sushi that we're gonna go ahead and dig into. This one right here is their eel roll. Let's go ahead and check this out. So this eel roll, or actually this isn't, it has eel on the top and the inside it has shrimp tempura and it has some cucumbers with rice and a little bit of eel sauce. Let's go ahead and see how this is, guys. Let's go ahead and try it. I'm gonna be honest, unfortunately it's very buffet, typical Chinese buffet quality. They're not bad, but I've had so much better sushi. Let's go ahead and try this next one. Same thing, it's very average in all honesty. I don't wanna say it's bad, cause it's not, but at least the sushi itself is very average for compared to other sushi that we've had. All right guys, so this right here is the marbled beef. We ended up cooking it just a bit, enough to get a little bit of crispiness. The one thing I will say that's another downside to this place is the fact that they put that parchment paper there. I like it when it gets that direct contact with the steel or with the carbon um, carbon steel that they have on the grills themselves, just because you get a little bit more of caramelization and you get a little bit of more char on the meat itself. But with that said, Let's go ahead and try this out, see how it is. A lot of fattiness. It does get surprisingly crispy even though the parchment paper's there. 
in all honesty, if it wasn't because of the sauces or the soy sauce or whatever that we have, even though I seasoned it with salt and pepper, I mean, it tastes decent, but it's not that great of a quality. We'll see the other meats in a couple of months. All right, one thing I will say, the ribeye. That one's pretty good. It's cooked medium rare, the way I like it. The inside's nice and pink. It is thick pieces, but thankfully you could actually cut it with scissors and then kind of chunk it up like you did right there. It ends up being really, really good. And if you get this and you pour it in some soy sauce, you get that acidity that's breaking into that fat. This is pretty dang good. Especially considering that you get some nice thick pieces with it. Mm. All right, I built a little taco again from the lettuce. Lettuce pieces are a little bit small. I'm gonna go ahead and grab another one just to kind of wrap it. And I'm gonna try my best because I know we're supposed to eat this in one bite. Yeah! All right, we had a cut of each of the other ones. So this right here is spicy beef. This right here was spicy pork. This is another piece of the ribeye. This is a nice fatty piece that's on the edge. We have a little bit of pork belly that we're gonna try out and then some boneless short rib that I'm gonna try as well and see how this is. There's a ton of other options over there, but I just kind of wanted to get a grand majority of it. Let's go ahead and try this out and see how it is. The spicy pork, it's nice, tender. That seasoning is just the perfect amount of sweetness. Dip it into the soy sauce. You get that interaction of sweet and salty. Mm. The spicy beef itself, I'm gonna go ahead and try that one out. It's very similar in texture to that of beef jerky, like teriyaki beef jerky, but it's a little less dry and it's not as tough. Pork belly, thinly sliced, is the one thing I'm looking forward to the most. I don't know, I find pork belly delicious, guys. Little piece of short rib. Really tender, really fatty. That one that I just grabbed, lots of flavor. I really would say, that if you make that TikTok hack sauce, I think it'll take all the meats to the next level. The meats aren't bad or anything like that. They just, I don't know, it doesn't blow me away. Keep in mind, I've been to like seven different all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue places. So I am pretty adept and pretty picky when it comes to the different meats and the different places that you can go. I kind of had high expectations based on some of the YouTube videos I've seen from this place. And in all honesty, it's not really meeting my expectations of all the different choices that I have in Korean barbecue. But that said, I'm still gonna go ahead and enjoy this. I'm gonna try to see if I grab a different round of meat later on, but I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy the rest of this and I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. All right guys, great, so we're back. I try to look over to see what other meats we can get and just nothing's really calling out to me. I don't think anything's gonna top off the ribeye. I will say the ribeye is really good. Everything else is just average. I don't wanna say it's bad, it's really not. But with all the other places that we've been to, I don't, I think this is honestly just more hyped and like the YouTubers that did clips of this just did a really good job doing the clips and the shorts. Because in my opinion, I would very highly suggest any of the other places that we've already done in this channel before coming here because the sushi was average. It literally was like regular cheap Chinese buffet sushi. That's how it felt in all honesty. Again, as you guys know, not bad, but I mean, you can get so much better quality sushi. Tokyo Sushi, which you guys know, we did a video as the best sushi in Orlando, has all you can eat and it's 10 times better than this place. And it's only like, I think $10 more, that's it, because the price has gone up. Not only that, but it, even though you have all these options, maybe the hot pot might make it more worth it. Maybe if we had the broth, maybe things would have been different. But as a Korean bar barbecue place, I would very highly suggest going pretty much almost anywhere else. I was gonna do it like a video for the dessert section, but even the dessert section is exactly like a cheap Chinese buffet. And right across the street from this place is Crazy Buffet. As you guys know, that's the craziest buffet in Orlando. It's massive and it's one of my favorite buffets to go to. So it's just like, when you're putting all those stuff together, it's just, I, I hate being that guy. You guys know I always try to be positive in all videos. Once again, the food's not bad. It's just there's so many better options, especially at the price range that you're paying for here. You might as well go somewhere else. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the short video today. I, I normally don't do this, especially when it's a Korean barbecue place. Usually these videos are super long, but, there's really not much else to show in my opinion. Um, but with that said, I will see you guys next Sunday. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. I will see you guys next Sunday, and until then, let's just keep on eating.